read this? There's no pictures. Well, some people use their imagination. Belle, it's time you got your head out of those books and paid attention to more important things. Hint, hint. <laughs> like you? Gaston, please, I have to get inside to help my father. That wacky old coot, he needs all the help he can get. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about my father that way. Yeah, don't talk about your father that way. My father's not crazy, he's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Never get this boneheaded contraption to work. Yes, you will. And you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. Well, well, we better get cracking then. Now let me see. Where did I put that dog-legged clencher? Papa. Oh, thank you, Belle. So, did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Papa, do you think I'm odd? My daughter? Odd? Why don't you get an idea like that? I'm not sure. It's just, I don't think I fit in here. There's no one I can really talk to. What about Gaston? He's a handsome fellow. He's handsome, all right, and rude and conceited, and oh, Papa, he's not for me. Well, don't you worry, because this invention is going to be the start of a new life for us. It works! It does? It does! Oh, Papa, you did it. You really did it. Here, I made you a scarf for good luck at the fair. Now I know for sure I'll win. I'm going to go to all those places you've read about in your books. Goodbye, Papa. Bye-bye, Belle. Be careful.
It's so. <laughs> Girls, just getting married. Don't tell me a little thing like that's gonna change your feelings for me. Oh, no, no, never. Good. Well, if we're gonna have a wedding, guess I better propose to the bride. <laughs> Oh, Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. Isn't it, though? I'm just full of surprises. For you, mademoiselle. <laughs> oh, Gaston, you shouldn't have. Don't mention it. Belle, this is the day your dreams come true. What could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty. Picture this. A rustic hunting lodge. My little wife massaging my feet. <laughs> while the strapping boys play on the floor with the dogs. We'll have six or seven. Dogs? No, boys! Imagine that! So, Belle, what'll it be? I just don't deserve you. Who does? <laughs> but, thanks for asking. No, I You know that, Belle. Always playing hard to guess. She's hurt you now. For now. But I'll have Belle for my wife. Make no mistake about that. Is he gone? Can you imagine? He has me to marry him. Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless, I want adventure in the gray wine somewhere. I want it more than I can tell. And for once it might be well to have someone understand. I want so much more than they've got planned. Hey, Belle, have you seen Gaston? You just missed him. Wait a minute. Where did you get that scarf? This, at the crossroads. Pretty nice, huh? Belongs to my father. Something must have happened to him. Yeah, the finders keepers. Oh, Papa! <laughs> <laughs> trying to maintain what's left of our humanity. Look at us. Look at you. What about me? Oh, right. If the master doesn't break the spell, slowly but surely, we will all become things. Hold on, Lumiere. You've got to hold on. Hello? Is anybody here? Hello? It's a girl. This is the one St. Carol has been waiting for. She has come to break the spell. Wait a minute. Let's not be hasty. Hello? Is anybody here? Please, I'm looking for my father. Belle, is that you? Papa! How did you find me? Your hands are like ice. Who has done this to you? Belle, you must leave this place immediately. No, I won't leave you. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? Master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once! I do not take orders from anyone! Get out! No! Wait, forgive me! Please, let him out! Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here! But he's an old man! He could die! There's nothing you can do! Wait! Take me instead! No! No! You don't know what you're doing! You would do that? You would take his place? If I did? Would you let him go? Yes. She was promised to stay here. Forever. No! Come into the light. <gasps> Belle, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. You have my word. Done. Take him to the village. No, wait, not yet. Wait, wait. Let go of me. Let go of me. Belle! Papa! Belle! I'll never get to see him again. And I didn't even get to say goodbye. Master, since he is going to be staying 
with us for quite some time. You may want to offer her a more comfortable room. I'll show you your room. You follow. This is your home now. You are free to go anywhere you like, except for the West Wing. Why? What's not? It's forbidden. You will never step foot there. Do you understand? Yes. This is your room. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That's not a request. Yes, I made the choice, Papa, I will stay. But I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way. You monster. If you think that what you've done is right, well then, you're a fool. Make the world seem a bit brighter. But you're, you're, Mrs. Potts, dear. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Captain, um, who, who are you? Madame de la Grande Fouche. <laughs> but this is impossible. Now, what shall we go see with for dinner? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Oh, but of course you are. You must be master. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry. This is just happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but you mustn't despair. We are here to see you through.
I hope that we'll be friends. I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then Belle, it's you. Yes, I meant 